everything down. But that's the one that has the beetles. The second one? This one right here. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no beetles. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, yeah, look at how they coming out. What's going on, everybody? This is VJ Hunt coming to you from the Hunt family farm. We're in North Carolina, and that was a gunshot. It is still deer season. Um, so, yes, that's what you hear. Um, but uh, welcome to our channel. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe. Uh, go back and watch all of our videos. Like them. Do all of those things, man. Share them so people can see them. Um, it, helps our channel, it helps the channel out a lot. Um, when you do that we're getting the views but we're not getting the subscribers so if you're watching the content might as well subscribe and then turn on that post notification so you can get um an update uh, alert i'm sorry every time we uh shoot a video um so we're entering as you know we've done everything with lambing and all of that so now we're going to enter into another segment of uh the farming that we do this is that that is the farming which my sister specializes in and that is beekeeping and if you uh, just watched that video, you saw why I'm not a, <laughs> a beekeeper. Yes, honesty, being completely transparent with everybody, I have a real phobia, as you can see in that previous clip. So yes, that is me, an adult grown man <laughs> screaming like a little five-year-old girl. Um, I have a real phobia of flying things like that guinea that just flew up but there scared me but i have a real phobia like birds in in small spaces as well as bees and any flying stinging insects so when those bees came out of that box and attacked me yes i was scared i took off running i threw my phone uh they were in my shirt well i thought they were in my shirt so i pretty much stripped down um while running i had one in my hair um, I could continue it to him. It was definitely in my head. I could hear him going, I just couldn't get it out. Um, yeah, so I, I was running across the field, uh, taking clothes off. Terrified. It was great, great time, right? But um, <laughs> moving forward in that, um, so we're going, this kind of video is kind of just to introduce my sister into how she got into beekeeping. Um, I know some of you had some questions about beekeeping and that's kind of what we're gonna do. You'll be able to see kind of what she does during the winter time um, when things are colder or cooler. Well, I mean, it's warm today in December, but typically when it's cold, you know, what activities go, go on as a, what is it called? A, a, what's it apiary. Be, a apiary, yeah, an apiary. An apiary is just a collection of beehives, essentially. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, you know, I'm terrified. All of it looks like death to me. Cause they <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll just get into some of the questions. Uh, I guess we'll do this interview style. Um, and just some of the questions that you have. And also, if you are watching this video, you you know start to watch it and you have questions, please comment down below. Um, she does a great job of, she's very, a, what is it? A, like a, I don't know, wealth of information when it comes to bees and things like that i i'm not good at it. but the first question was how did you get into beekeeping and um why do you want to keep bees or work with bees so the way i got into beekeeping was um just out of curiosity i'm naturally an inquisitive person and um, I'm the type of person that likes to, you know, try new things. I'm all about having different experiences. And um, my dad's friend and business partner in the poultry farm is actually a beekeeper. So one day while we were out, it's raining. Um, <laughs> one day while we were out uh, processing chickens, I just asked him if I could accompany him um, when he went out the next time to uh, work with his bees or you know harvest honey whatever the case may be i didn't really know too much about it at the time so my dad being the super nosy person that he is overheard me ask the question and 
she was like, well, if you're interested in these, then just go ahead and buy you some because I have three or four hives over in storage at the farm um, and that someone gave me. So you already have the equipment that you would need to get started. So, you know, just go ahead and buy the bees. So, you know, here we are. I went home and researched, you know, where to buy bees, how much they cost. Um, uh, the beginning beekeeping classes. Um, I found one through the Wake County Beekeepers Association. I also looked at the State Beekeepers Association and just read, you know, whatever information they had out there. And I took the beginner beekeeping class um, January of last year. And um, my bees came in March of this year. And that's how I got started on this journey. So, and it hasn't let me down yet. It's been very um exciting and you know i've been learning a lot and i'm looking forward to you know going forward okay is beekeeping a year-round um activity how do you take care of them in the winter months so um it's absolutely a year-round activity although you don't really typically especially in colder climates bother the bees too much in the winter time uh the bees can't really survive in the being out in the cold weather um the bees typically cluster in the hive to keep warm um they kind of like i said get together in a cluster and vibrate their bodies to keep warm and then they stay very close to their food source so that they don't have to move very far in order to be able to eat um so the beekeeper's job going into the winter is to make sure that the hive is healthy and strong which means that they have adequate numbers of bees and also that the bees are free of um you know parasites pests and disease and then to also make sure that the bees have adequate amount of food so that would mean that either they have adequate stores of honey in the hive or that they have supplemented their food by giving them um fondant or um, either some other type of sugar-based supplement that you can either make yourself or buy out of um, a beekeeping supply store. So once it gets cold though, you don't want to open the hive. But normally during the winter time, beekeepers are preparing for the spring. So they're taking stock of whatever equipment that they have that may need to be replaced or repaired. Um, they're ordering bees they are you know building their frames they're building their hives they're painting hives making repairs um just you know taking an assessment of what they need to do taking classes things of that nature so definitely it's a year-round thing okay <clears throat> does weather um and does our climate i guess for does our climate here uh, play a factor in honey production and does the weather play a factor in the production of honey in a um, in a hive. Absolutely. So the bees are only going to come out once the temperature gets to a um, certain, once it gets to a certain temperature. Typically it has to be around, um, I would say, I think at least 60 in the mid 60s, excuse me, for the um, bees to come out. And if it's raining, the bees are not going to come out. So if the bees don't come out, then they're not you know, collecting pollen, collecting nectar, and the things that they need to do to produce honey. Also, when it comes to the climate, if you have a very hot summer and the plants are like drying up or a really late frost and, you know, it takes a while for things to start blooming, that will affect how things, how pollen starts to, um, pollen gets started and nectar starts flowing. So that will have an effect on how much honey is produced that year. What grows in your area is affected, of course, by the climate. So that affects the taste and the look of your honey. Um, the different pollen that the bees collect gives the honey like a different texture, uh, not texture, but a different taste and a different color. So different plants will make the honey darker and give it a stronger flavor. Right, do you know those plants? Like just for example, like in so, our climate, what do we have? For here? instance, if um, you have a lot of clover in your area, typically clover honey is a lot lighter and has a very mild flavor. Um, a lot of people like that um, flavor of honey, but buckwheat 
honey tends to be a lot darker and has a very strong flavor um, those are just like a couple of examples but most of the time unless you get it tested you really don't know because these are you know picking up pollen from everywhere so you typically get a mixture of um, things in your honey but whatever's plentiful is what they'll go to at the time so you don't really necessarily know what all is in the honey at any given point okay <laughs> this is a great question <laughs> Have you ever been stung? <laughs> what do you do when you get stung? Huh. Well, today. interestingly <laughs> enough, I got stung today. <laughs> but so that would make my fourth sting. Um, so um, the first time I actually got stung, I was stung in my upper thigh. I actually have just a jacket that I wear. I don't have um, the actual pants to go to the beekeeping suit. And I normally when I go out, just I was wearing like a thick pair of leggings and jeans because in my mind I thought, well, with the double pants, the the thing won't go through my pants. But I was so obviously wrong about that. So hold on, um, no, those are guineas, um, and they're rude. Hey, they're trying to do it. Like, they're so rude. <laughs> they really gonna keep going. Dang. That's the thing about a farm, right? It's, I mean, no. they, and they don't cooperate. Animals don't. So you got some double so, leggings. Yeah. I mean, leggings, jeans, you got some. So the second time I got some, um, both the next two times, seriously, <laughs> the, it's so rude. I can't believe it. What are y'all doing? Because one of them went up, the other one's outside. We'll definitely have to cut it. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Here we go. So the next two times I got stung were both on my hand. Um, the actual gloves that you have to wear when working with the bees are very like thick and they're kind of hard to work with. So, and I can actually show them to you. So these are the gloves that you wear. And um, as you can see, they come up, they have elastic on them so that the bees can't get inside of your gloves. And these are very thick so that the bees can't sting through them. So, um, but you're supposed to be relatively gentle when trying to pull the frames out of the hive. Well, that's kind of difficult with these gloves on. So, I thought, well, maybe if I don't wear the gloves, I can be a little bit more gentle with the bees and, you know, everything will work out fine. So I was actually working with my mentor and I was helping him with some of his hives. We were extracting honey and I ended up getting stung. So I said, well, let me see if I can find some different gloves to protect my hands that aren't so thick. So I found some gloves on Amazon, which are... These gloves, and they are supposed to be like cut proof gloves. So um, they're typically used in the kitchen, like when you're cutting vegetables and stuff. And you're, so they're supposed to be um, like a knife isn't supposed to be able to cut through them. So again, in my mind, I'm like, well, if a knife can't cut through them, a bee shouldn't be able to sting through them. Once again, I was wrong, and um, the bee stung right through the gloves. And so that was my third thing. Then today, while I was out, um, <laughs> well, we got attacked. <laughs> checking the hive, I think it was BJ's fault because he started screaming and acting crazy. Um, I didn't you know. get stuck. I didn't get stuck. <laughs> so, you know, we were out checking the hives, um, looking to see if we needed to supplement the hives with some food. One just got me in my thigh again, and so... I hadn't even done anything yet. I just took the lid off and they immediately just got a little antsy. So, you know, it happens. It wasn't that bad. I don't understand why VJ overreacts. 
Um, no, I, I I don't overreact. I I didn't. I was getting attacked. Definitely. If, if you see that video, you see them come at me. She has a bee suit on. I don't have a bee suit on. Um, if you haven't looked at the the, the uh, video, my Christmas list is probably something I need because it, if you listen to it prior to the attack, because I was attacked, I said, now I don't have a bee suit on. And all of a sudden they just came at me. But I guess here's a, here's, here's a <clears throat> probably a good question. This is a question of my own. I mean, you told me out there, but obviously if you are around a beehive and they begin to get antsy, how should you conduct yourself? So you don't want to do what VJ did. Like you don't, if, and it's, even if you get stung, you don't want to like start throwing your arms around and yelling and screaming and things of that nature. <laughs> You try to remain as calm as possible and you move away from the hive as quickly as possible because once you get stung, the the bee stinger is inside of you and it's designed to be stuck in you and the bee, you know, to stay on you. But when the bee stings you, it releases alarm pheromones and the alarm pheromones are going to alert the other bees that there's danger and they are going to come for you as well. So that's why you want to move away from the hive as quickly and as yes, calmly exactly. as possible because once you start, you know, being loud and you're going to upset the bees even more. And so that's just going to cause more problems. So you move away as quickly and calmly as possible. You get the bee off of you and then you can use your smoker to smoke the area where you got stung because that'll mask the alarm pheromone. And then if you have your hive open, you will go back and kind of you know, once things have kind of died down some, you would go back and you would close your hive up. But yes, you want to be as calm as possible. And I'll be honest, I probably haven't properly applied any first aid to any of my beast things. I kind of just get stung <laughs> and keep moving. Um, but, you know, you would want to, you know, apply whatever first aid you need to to your beast things. Um, so that it's properly cared for, but I just kind of, you know, wash it off and keep it moving. But, um, yeah, you just remain calm. That's the, the first thing that you do. Um, because you don't want to get all the bees into a tizzy. Um, bees typically just don't attack for no reason um, because they know they're gonna, they attack when they feel like there's danger to their hive. They are the epitome of ride or die, like I'm gonna die about mine because they know they're gonna <laughs> die when they sting you. So, you know, but once they know there's danger there, they will attack nah, and, nah, you know, dear. yeah, they, they will. Well, um, I guess those are all of the questions that we have. Like I said earlier, please, if you have any questions about bees, um, put them in the comments. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in particular, why do they do that? If there's anything that, that you want to see in particular, um, you know, comment down below. Let us know. Um, she's about to. It, it's well. It's still winter time here in North Carolina. We're supposed to get some cold weather um, coming in. So um, she's just gonna manage the highs. I guess she's gonna manage them as best she can in the cold weather. But as it warms up, <clears throat> um, as she orders more hives, and you'll be along to see all of those things. Um, definitely, any day that's a warm day, we'll get out and uh, get you some content, some things you can see. But you know, like I said, if you if you can comment down below and just let us know what you want to see when it comes to the beehive, comes to the apiary, right? Yes. The apiary. Um, just just comment that. Um, I guess that's all we have for today. Again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You should go ahead and do that. Uh, turn on those post notifications. Hit the like button. Uh, share this with your friends your family anyone else uh if you if you thought that me running was hilarious you know comment down there below just just laugh right i mean definitely we're here to 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 entertain to educate uh, um and if you have any other questions about farming or anything like that just put it in the comments man but and